Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Benfica and they face Dinamo Kiev. Well, the first game of the group is so vital. You just can't get off to a losing start. This could be a tight battle today, Derek. Here's the initial 11 for Benfica. Nicolas Otamendi starts with Jan Vertonghen at the back. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, it can be seen as a very defensive shape. But if they have good athletes in midfield, which they have, who are ready to break forward as soon as possession is won, they can still pose a big threat today. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Vitaly Bujalski read it superbly to take back possession Joao Mario and it's with Roman Yaremchuk moving the ball effectively well just fractionally wide good strike Let's see what they can do here. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Grimaldo. Rafa. Textbook defending inside the box. Well, I think it's fair to say the fans aren't too happy with that decision. He likes to run at them. Really vital interception here. And for more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. Nasty landing on the shoulder for him there, and he's in real discomfort. He's a tough boy, I think he'll stay on. Cheers, Jeff. And plenty of room in the wide area. Joao Mario. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Mikola Shaparenko. Ramirez with it. Serhi Sidorchuk. It looks promising. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, 
it has been coming. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1-0. Rafa. So nearly at half time and the home side trailing, albeit not by much. Stuart, your thoughts up to this point? Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. Ramirez with it. And the attack looks promising. And threading it forward. Oh, but just unable to... Un oh, surely! Well, he's missed the chance, and the keeper didn't have to do very much. Tremendous intuition to win it back. As you can see, the visitors have had much less of the ball, but what they've done with it has been really good, and they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Vitaly Bujalski. And there it is. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Vitaly Bujalski. And on the ball, Shaparenko. Serhi Sidorchuk. Well, they keep the ball moving. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Rafa. João Mario. This could square the game. And rattling the post. Well, they were so close to the equaliser there. They're certainly a bit unlucky, but they need to make more of these chances. It might be. The crossbar got in the way. High pressing at its best. Really good high press. Real chance. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Well, just look at this. He's so bright in the box. He's first to the ball and then a decent finish. It's a good bit of play. Second goal for them here. Rafa. Rafa. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Mikola Shaparenko. And on the ball, Shaparenko. Read it superbly to take back possession. A creative look about this. A chance to eat into their lead. And there is the goal! Well, that changes the equation. And they have the momentum now. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, but when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. Well, 2-1 it is here.
Alexey Gankov. And he keeps going. But they took care of the situation defensively. Well, just listen to the atmosphere in here. The fans doing every bit to try and spur their team on for this equaliser. 